Welcome back, my serious community. How y'all doing? Hope y'all doing good. Let's get into this video. If nobody has told you this, I want to be the first one to tell you that I'm proud of you. Keep your head up and keep doing what you're doing. Don't let anybody discourage you or stop you from what you're trying to do. You are going to make it and do not give up. I've been working with Warner for seven months and I learned a little bit along the way and I just want to give you my honest review of Warner Enterprises. Oh yeah, stick around to the end. Got something special for you. Warner Enterprises is a decent company to work for, fresh out of school, because they have multiple accounts that you could pick and choose from to find the right accounts that suits you based off of where you're located. If you don't like the account that you choose, you can always switch to a different account. The different accounts that they have is over the road non-touch rate and touch rate account. The pay structure is broken down by accounts. Over the road, non-touch rate accounts get paid cents per mile. However many miles you run in a week, that's how much you get paid before taxes. For the touch freight account, you get paid per load, which is trailer, per stop, which is unload, and you get the cents per mile before taxes. That's how much you get paid at the end of the week. You just gotta do all the calculations and figure out how much you're getting paid for each one of those things. Just like all other companies, the company are ran by people. The only downside that I would say about this trucking company, Warner Enterprises, is that some of the people may make and break your relationship with Warner Enterprises. Not the company, but the people on the inside of the company. You have great people that you can reach out to and call third parties that want to talk to you and make sure you're having the best experience with your leader, the best experience after you get off the truck with your leader on your account. They want to take good care of you. Then you have people like DLMs and fleet managers that may cause a horrible experience because they are so structured to do the bare minimum to care about your own personal life that they care more about the freights. And that's fact. I don't want to be long winded about this topic because it all depends on the person that you are dealing with. And it also all depends on you. You can't let nothing deteriorate anything that you are trying to do because it's up to you at the end of the day. My overall experience with Warner Enterprises has been up and down. As you can see right now, I'm in a hotel room and that's because I'm having truck problems. I don't want to make or break your experience nor do I want to try to do anything to further complicate you trying to figure out what you want to do. So in order for me to contribute any type of say-so in that, I chose to do one thing. I chose to become a leader with Warner Enterprises. I want to give people the opportunity to have the best experience they can with starting in a trucking company and this is a start for me. If you ever had a bad experience with a leader, I'm sorry. If you had a fleet manager that you can't stand, I'm sorry. But it still takes you to stand your ground no matter what trucking company you decide to go with. I just want to say I really appreciate everybody that has been growing with me with this channel and when I get to a thousand subscribers, I'm definitely gonna try my best to make a thousand subscriber video. And right now I'm currently at an 851. If you haven't subscribed, liked, or commented on any one of these videos, it's okay. I understand we are very busy and sometimes we just watch videos just to watch them without giving any input. But if this video helped you and you wanna come back and watch more videos, subscribe, like, I'm here for you and if you leave a comment for me, I will try my best to get back to you when I'm safe. I want y'all to be as positive as y'all can and keep your head up and do not let nobody discourage you. And hopefully we as a team can make companies that's horrible better by helping them fix the small problems that they have, by we sticking up from one another, standing our ground to the people that creates the problem. I don't want to discourage nobody or make Warner look like a bad company because they're not. But what I do want to say, regardless of what company you choose to go with, you have to make it 
work for you. Get the experience that you need and do what you need to do to be successful. And don't depend on nobody else. Because I want to let you in on the secret a wise man once said to me. A boss is never going to pay you enough to be his neighbor. Until next time, be positive, stress-free, and be safe out there. Y'all take it easy. God bless. See you in the next one. If nobody hasn't told you this, I want to be the first one to tell you. I'm proud of you. I'm not proud of that noise, though. This been going on for the past couple of hours. Yes, I just checked into the hotel. Yes, they are actively cleaning up. But why do I have to keep hearing this crazy noise? Warner Enterprises is a decent trucking company to work for. Warner Enterprises is a decent trucking company starting out fresh out of school with no experience. Warner Enterprises is a decent trucking company. Warner Enterprises is a decent trucking company starting out with no experience. They have multiple accounts that you could choose from based off of where you're located. That if the account work for you, that's... F Warner Enterprises is a decent trucking company. Warner, I don't, I don't, I literally am expecting noise. So now I can't even talk. You can't let nothing deteriorate. You can't let nothing deteriorate. You can't let nothing deteriorate anything that you're trying to do because it's up to you at the end of the day. Warner Enterprises is a decent trucking company because they have multiple accounts that you could choose from. Fresh out of school with no experience. You see what I'm talking about? See what I'm talking about? That was a perfect one. That was perfect. Till I get up Time is barely on our side